Assalamualaikum 4th graders, welcome back to science lesson. Well, in the previous meetings, we were talking about human skeleton and types of the bones that making up the skeleton. In today's video, we are going to continue our topic about why do we need a skeleton or the function of the skeleton. I think some of you already know about it. Can you mention what is it? Yeah, the first function of the skeleton is to give us support and structure. Well, the skeleton makes a strong frame inside our body and it also gives shape to our body. The second one, that the skeleton also function to protect our organs. Okay, do you know what organs are there in the picture? Yes, the lungs. The lungs is protected by a strong ribs. And also the brain, it is also protected by a very hard skull. Why the skeleton are very important in protecting our organ? Because you know that our organ are very fragile, right? It, is, uh, it needs to be protected by a very strong shield in order for us to be safe. Okay, so the first one, it is to support. The second one, it is to protect. Now, let's continue with the next function of the skeleton. The third one is that the skeleton also function in order to grow. As you know, when we are getting older, um, our body also getting taller, right? Why it can be like that? Because the bones also grow. So by the growing of the bones, our body also grows. What will happen if the bone is broken? Well, sometimes it happen if someone, let's say, fall down or having accident until the bone is broken. Can it be healed? The answer is yes. Anyway, we also have another name for the broken bone, which is we call it as fracture. Okay, miss, how then the, bro uh, the broken bone is healed? The broken bone will mend back again. Okay, so here, like uh, when the on the spot where the bone is broken, it will be growing and also connected back again with another part of the bone. So yes, it can be healed. And also very interesting that in children, they are faster in uh, healing the broken bones than in adult. As you know, the children has, uh, what is it? A very high growing rate and in the adult sometimes they already stop growing so the bones when they need to grow it will grow slower all right so the healing of the broken bones are faster in children okay next questions that we are going to discuss is that do animals have skeleton the answer is no right we also have other animals that do not have any skeleton inside their body okay so they are tend to be uh, flexible and also they are soft in structure right and for example what are the animals miss we have here the uh, worm and then the jellyfish and also the slug and we also have many other animals that do not have skeleton and those animals are called as invertebrates can you please repeat after me invertebrates invertebrates well done okay then kids well that's all for today's topic now let's have a quick review for what we have learned in this video so the first one we grow because our skeleton also growing and the function of the skeleton there are three right supporting protect and to grow and then also we have also another term for the animals without the skeletons they are called as inverted 
Braids. Well done, everyone. Okay, then, after this video, I want you to write down on your notebook what are the functions of the skeleton. There are three. Could you please write it down on your notebook? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. See you again later. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.